This is just a quick instruction on how to complete this task. Because this task is shared between trainers that are already qualified and are looking at this unit purely as an addition to meet current requirements having LLN skills, and it's also done by people who are still undergoing a certificate for in training and assessment. So that's why this quick little uh, indicator is being created for you. So you see step one, everyone has to download and save the um, trigger words there, just for your own purposes. Then you've got to download and save the IBSA trigger words glossary. You'll always need to refer to those as a trainer. And then step three is broken down into two options. There's a step three for a qualified trainer and there's a step three not yet qualified in certificate four in training and assessment. So when the qualified trainer downloads the question jogger, it is a blank form. And you'll need to apply your own unit of competency that you train in and only one element of that unit of competency. So I just want you to take that one element just like we did with John. We took element one and we looked at performance criterion one, two and three. I need you to do that and apply it here. Obviously you'd be using and replaying that modelled one that I did on John to help you understand how to do that. Now if you're not yet qualified in Certificate 4 in Training and Assessment, that has already been built for you. And really, an RTO who specialises in training would have consulted with a LLN expert or have, have a, a person there with some degree of LL, LLN expertise. So here at Evoke, we are a small organisation, so we don't have it's not practicable for us to employ an LLN expert as such, but uh, I at least am an English teacher teaching the K-12 curriculum, so I'm highly specialised in language and literacy, and I've been able to put this together for you. So, so you know, using a real-life situation, me as the CEO of the registered training organisation would have been able to provide you with um, some guidelines there as far as determining the requirements for your evidence.